Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing great. In today's video, we've got some quick updates in regards to the news and events that are happening right now in Pokemon Sword and Shield. So we've got a brand new max raid event that's happening right now. I'll we'll cover all the details of how you can take part in that and make the most out of it, as well as the brand new mystery gift event that's happening as well, and subsequent ones that are gonna follow from that in the next few weeks. So we'll have all the information so you don't miss any of these Pokemon. We'll kick off with the information about the brand new max raid event dens that are happening right now in Pokemon Sword and Shield. So as you can see, Cerebi put up a tweet yesterday. We're a day behind with this, so I do apologize. But the event itself kicked off as of recording this video on the 12th of August. So you can see new Max Raid event will be featuring various Impidimped has begun in, begun in Pokemon Sword and Shield, including a chance to get a shiny Grimmsnarl. So that is the big juice of this event. Obviously, we'll cover all the details. It is running from the 12th of August, like I've already mentioned until the 21st of August which will be a week on Sunday so a week of recording this video you're going to have an entire week to take part in this event and get the special Pokemon from it there's no special uh, items that you're going to get from this raid in particular all your kind of standard items that you would get with any other raid but it will be running right up until Sunday the 21st which is the day of the world championships kind of finishing for this season which is kind of fitting because Grimmsnarl has been such a predominant character in the VGC competitive scene all season and has kind of featured throughout all the different series and done so well so kind of a fitting Pokemon to end up the uh, VGC season with as you can see we're going to start off with the one star raids all Impidimp the two star all Impidimp then you're going to get Morgrim introduced in in the, the three star raids as well as Impidimp. Then in the four star raids, Grimmsnarl is going to make its first appearance with the Morgrim and the Impidimps, but the five star is where it is all at. And don't worry, the version of the game that you've got doesn't make a difference. They're going to be exactly the same if you've got Pokemon Sword or Pokemon Shield. So the big thing from this event is you're going to have a 2% chance to get yourself a square shiny Grimmsnarl. Is that nice, a white shiny Grimmsnarl? It does make it a little bit harder because all of the other Pokemon one in this den are actually grim snarls as well so kind of identifying the five star grim snarl in the den is going to be a little bit trickier they're all if you get a five star they're all going to be grim snarl so you're going to have to check all of them to try and get this two percent chance but the chances are increased in this event for this for the shiny so it shouldn't be too difficult you're just going to have to have a bit of patience with it like i say it's exactly the same across the board and you are going to have all week to take part in this one up until the 21st of August. So if you are in game, just to remind you what you want to be doing is looking for these red beams. Just to reiterate, if you are doing the date skip glitch, if you've got a den that you've spawned and it's got an impidimp in and you want to look for a five star grim star, you want to do the date skip glitch, you have to drop a wishing piece. We get comments every time we do one of these update videos. Just make sure if you are using the date skip glitch in this event that you are dropping and spawning the den itself with a wishing piece. If it's a self-spawn den elsewhere that you've just come across and found, the date skip glitch won't work and the, the den will disappear after you change the date. So it has to be one that you've used the wishing piece on. So what you want to do is, as you can see here, we do already have the den itself. But if you don't have it, like I say, what you want to be doing is just finding a den in any area uh, of the wild area, Crown Tundra or Isle of Armor, it will work. First thing you want to do is make sure you go to Mystery Gifts and then get Wild Area News. This will connect you to the internet. This will update all your uh, dens around the region to the event. So you're going to be able to find these Impidimp, Morgrem and Grimmsnarl. More importantly, the Grimmsnarl, then you just want to drop a wishing piece into the den and just hope it is a red beam. If it's a purple beam, just ignore it. Try and move on and try and get a red beam. And you can see this one's going to be easy to find. So you want to just go backwards and forwards here. Uh, between the two dens or whichever dens you're at and drop wishing pieces until you get one of these Pokemon. Now I know that um, Impidimp, it does not appear in this den. So no, we've got the event den. It's not the five star Grimmsnarl. So we want to just do the Datescape glitch, which is just come to your home menu, come down to settings, down to system, down to date and time. Make sure that the clock is off, synchronized by the internet. Come to your date, change the date by one day forward. Click OK, then come back to your home menu, come back into the game, exit out of the den, 
and then you will see the weather probably change it will change the day and when you go back into the den now you'll collect 2000 watts again and it will change so there we go we've got a five star grimstall what you want to do here is if you are cycling through the den looking for it you want to just make sure you've got the save there on this event and then you can go in and check it and fingers crossed it will be the shiny remember it is two percent chance of it appearing but you're going to have to check every five star grim snarl uh, that you come across so it might take a little bit of time unfortunately this one is not the five star but like i say if it's not you just want to reset your game and kind of come back into it and then use a data skip glitch again to get to the next five star grim snarl and then you can check that one uh, and if it is shiny great if not then just move on to the one after that the other news that we wanted to cover as well is in regards to a brand new mystery gift that has started on the 12th of August as well and it will be running for the next few weeks with a brand new mystery gift Pokemon being distributed each and every week with a brand new code. So you can see it is all in celebration of Ash the from the anime uh, Satoshi in Japan. It is a Japanese kind of run event but it is available worldwide with the codes. Uh, as you can see Ash's team of Dracovish, Dragonite, Gengar, Surfetched and Lucario are going to be distributed in Sword and Shield through shared serial code weekly from the 12th of August. So this has already begun and the first code has been given out. As you can see, the code is here. It will also be on the screen as well. So all you're going to want to do is come into your game in Sword and Shield, go to Mystery Gift and then get the Mystery Gift option. Get with pass or code or password and then in this message will come up, you'll connect to the internet and you wanna just put the code that's on the screen right now. And this will be for Ash's first Pokemon that will be giveaway, which is gonna be that Dracovish, which is pretty nice because it is a little bit of a tricky Pokemon to get in game. You've gotta get obviously the fossils, the corresponding fossils to be able to get it. And it can be sometimes a little annoying. So it's a nice gift to get your hands on while it is running. And there's also an added bonus to kind of where the gift would have come from as well so you will then obviously get the gift here and it is the Dracovish so when you go into your party and you check it you can have a quick look at the Dracovish and uh, it will be uh, strong jaw will have vicious rend one of its signature attacks and you can see on the date uh, that you received it 24th of august and it seems it came from the pokemon animated show which is pretty nice to give it a kind of really unique feel about where the pokemon was generated and it was an event pokemon as well so that is the gift like i say there will be subsequent mystery gifts running for the next few weeks we'll cover them all on the channel so you don't miss them but that is the one that is currently running for dracovish so don't miss that one and get it while you can so friends that wraps up everything that we wanted to cover in today's video i hope you found it useful good luck hunting the shiny grim snarl if you're taking part in that new max raid event and let me know down below if you managed to get the shiny grim snarl already and let me know what you think of shiny grim snarl it seems like a really controversial shiny i don't know why like a bit like incineral those white ones uh, i really like it personally so i hope you do as well and good luck hunting it and getting a hold of that dracovish as well so thanks for tuning in friends have a great rest of your day like i say a very short one today but good luck with these ones and i'll see you all in another video very soon so until then take care and bye bye